Hey guys, so with these four VIB sale coming up, I wanted to film a VIB wish list slash VIB recommended items video. I basically went through my stash and I just picked out everything that I absolutely love and think you need to own. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a lot. But these are like my holy grail favorite items, things I always reach for, so I thought it would be perfect to let you guys know. So the VIB sale, if you're Rouge, you get an extra weekend. So you get the weekend of Friday, April 13th to April 16th, and then Friday, April 20th to Monday, April 23rd, and I believe everyone else gets just the 20th to the 23rd. Um, you get 10% off if you're a BI, you get 15% off if you're a VIB, and you get 15% off if you're a VIB Rouge. So the code is yay rouge, yay VIB, or yay insider works online or in store. So I just wanted to go through and kind of show you guys what you should get. Sephora only has sales twice a year, one in April and one I believe in November. So I definitely think you should stock up while you can. It's a great time to buy skincare items you wouldn't normally buy. It's a great time to buy foundations, etc., or just some of your favorites that you want to stock up on. Now keep in mind the sale in November is more. If you're VIB, you get or VIB Rouge, you get 20% in November. So I always stock up in April, but a little bit more in November because I get more things. So these are my favorites. I'm gonna start with the few skincare items I think you should pick up. Um, the first one is the Foreo, the Luna Foreo Mini. This is fantastic. Um, I do not know all the prices off by heart, so I'm just gonna put little like prices down here somewhere or down here I don't know somewhere around here there'll be prices listed the Foreo is just over a hundred dollars I believe and it is just fantastic I love it more than the Clarisonic I think it works just as well as the Clarisonic but you don't have to clean it every night because it's antibacterial it keeps a charge for like literally I charge it like once every six months it cleans my face really well it gets that deep clean there's different speeds there are smaller uh, nubbies in the front here, and then in the back, there's uh, more of like a deep pore cleansing nubby. I'm not gonna lie, I never use the back ones, but they're there if you want them. I have to mention the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. I know I just uploaded it again, I'm ready with me video, so I'm gonna try to speed through the, the skincare stuff, but this is fantastic. It is pricey, I believe it's like $54, but it's totally worth it. It really has made my skin feel smooth and fantastic and like the roses are super bougie, but it's worth it. The last skincare item I'm going to mention is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is only $20 and it'll be the best $20 you ever spend. My lips have never felt more moisturized, luxurious, magical. You need this. You get so much product in here. As you can see, I've used under half of this and I've had it for about six months and like I'm never going to run out of this. And it smells like bubble gum and like not in a gross way. Okay, primer was so easy for me. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is the second one that I have clearly finished up, so you know I'll be stocking up during the VIB sale and getting another one of these because I clearly need it. It just makes your skin look radiant and beautiful. If you have dry skin and love that glowy look, you'll love that primer. Foundations for me were also super easy. The first one that comes to mind is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream Plus Illumination. It's what I'm wearing today and going into the spring and summer months. This is a fantastic foundation. It says it's a CC cream, but it definitely provides full coverage, or I would say medium to buildable full coverage. Um, I wear this all summer long. Again, this is another item that I've gone through completely. This is my second one, and I'm getting near the end of this one. It's a holy grail of mine. It's all I'll be wearing once the weather gets warm out, so I totally love that. And I've also been obsessed with the NARS uh, Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is a fantastic foundation if you have dry skin, if you like that radiant, glowy look. It's not too glowy. Like, the Cosmetics CC Cream is definitely way glowier than this. Like, this has micro glitter in it. If you don't like that, you're not going to like this, but personally, if you're close enough to my face that you're going to concern with them, you're concerned about the micro glitter in my face, you're too close to me. Um, but the NARS one is also fantastic. It's a little pricey, so it's a great time to pick this up. I love this foundation. I'm in the shade Mont Blanc, and it's beautiful. I've actually really been into contour lately, and for it, I've been loving the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Um, this is what it looks like. It's the powder one. I honestly would not recommend anyone buy this full palette unless you're a makeup artist. Like, what am I going to do with this color or this color ever? This one I use sometimes if I'm, like, feeling extra glam, but clearly you can tell I only use these two shades. But since this was released originally, she actually has refillable 
it comes as like a refillable palette now where you can take them out and you can also just buy the refills so i would say it's not worth your money to buy this whole palette at this point but you can go into store and swatch it and just pick up the shades that you think you are like i will only ever need to repurchase this shade i won't ever need the rest of them so if i was going to buy this as a first time person i'd only probably buy these two shades and those are levitation and, and subconscious I'm trying to whip through this because I have so much stuff on my counter. Um, for blush, if you watched my recent favorite blush videos, this will be a no-brainer for you. The first one is NARS Madly. I mean, really get any NARS blushes. Their blushes are absolutely beautiful, but nothing can touch NARS Madly. It is the most beautiful warm-toned brown in the history of warm-toned brown. It has a bit of a sheen to it, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Brings your face to life. And if that one is a little too warm for you, you want something a little bit more neutral, then Benefit Dallas is your girl. I feel like Dallas is the most underrated blush in the history of YouTube. Why is no one talking about this blush? It's absolutely amazing. Looks boring in the pan. It's a little bit more pink toned than Madly. As you can see, I'm wearing it on my cheeks today, but I don't know, the ring light always washes out my blush, but it's just a beautiful blush. I'll try to stick my hands in here without digging my nail into everything. It's on this finger here. It's just absolutely gorgeous, super wearable, beautiful, everyday neutral blush. For highlight, this was also super easy for me. The Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette is to die for. I did check the website before I filmed this video and it is available still. I know they brought it in, then it sold out, and then they brought it back because it's such a high demand. So I think this will be a palette that's available everywhere. It'll be kind of like Champagne Pop where like they're never going to not carry it. Mine is beat to shit i've shattered this shade this shade i think just these two shades and had to repress them as you can see my go-to shades are these three right here uh kitty cat is clearly my favorite and so is actually forever young forever young you could see pan on before i crashed it cracked it and had to repress it but they are just the most beautiful shades in the history of the world if you like a more silvery pink toned highlight then this is right up your fucking alley it's not what i'm wearing today on my cheeks because i didn't think about this until after my face on today but absolutely adore this palette worth every fucking penny it is kind of annoying that there's three shades in here that i'm not going to use just like there's probably three shades in here that a darker skinned or a medium skinned medium toned skin person <laughs> medium toned skin person you know what i mean um, would probably not use, but the colors that are in there are absolutely to die for. And I, this palette is everything I've ever wanted in my whole entire life. Okay, so that's basically everything for face. Now I'm going to move on to eyes and I'm going to start with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Um, lately I've only been gravitating, gravitating towards my like single palettes, but this has been my ride or die for like the past year. These warm tones are absolutely beautiful. I love these shades for just like a nice neutral look. Like uh, their mirror is a beautiful color and I absolutely love warm taupe in the crease. Um, if you have sensitive eyes and you're normally allergic to red eyeshadow, what you're allergic to is Carmine, which is basically crushed up bugs. Delish. Um, so that can be really irritating to your eyes. It can either make them itchy or it can just make them puffy and it stains your eyelids. Personally, I am allergic to Carmine in this palette that only the shades with red in them. So like Love Letter, Venetian Red, and Red Ochre are what really makes my eyes itchy. So I can only wear this if I'm just going out for a night out. Like I can't wear this as a full day look, but I still fucking love it. And I would totally recommend it because lots of people aren't as sensitive as me, but beautiful. Um, also, I, I want to give a shout out to the Soft Glam palette. If you are a beginner and you need a new palette, the Soft Glam palette looks beautiful. And it's supposed to be the same formula as the Modern Renaissance palette, but I would steer clear of the Subculture palette and the Prism palette because they're both a different formula. I had bought the Subculture palette and it, I could not make it work for me, so I actually returned it. So I would definitely steer clear of those, but Modern Renaissance and Soft Glam are a beautiful formula. Uh, for mascara, I have to recommend the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I only have the little one and a like shout out goes to the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I really want to try that mascara. It looks fantastic, but I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's a holy grail for me. And I will also definitely be picking up the Lancome Sills Booster XL. This is just a eyelash primer. I have shitty eyelashes and I always use an eyelash primer. 
So this is one of my favorites. I also love the Dior one. So either one is a must have. The last eye thing is the Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper. This is a holy grail for me. I do love the Ardency and Punker liner a little bit more, but because I can't get that at Sephora anymore, this is just so much easier. And at 15% off, you can't beat it. It's fantastic. It's felt tipped. It lasts a really long time for me. I like to keep it standing up in a cup like this and it just creates the most beautiful wings. I love a felt tip liner. I cannot do brush tip liners and it's just magical and I absolutely love it. Um, my one brow thing would be the Anastasia Dip Brow in Granite. Like I just can't rave enough about this. This is absolutely beautiful. Obviously get it in whatever color you are. Now that I've gone a little bit blonder, I might go with ash brown, but right now my roots are still pretty dark so I can probably get away with granite. It'll more so depend on how my hair fades once I wash it a few times, but the dip brow is worth every fucking penny. Um, while I'm on this, I should also talk about the Anastasia number 12 brush. This is what I use every single day to do these babies, and it's without fail the greatest brush ever. It just gives me the most beautiful brows, lets me fill them in lightly or more sharp and crazy. It's just, it's all magical. You need both of these for sure. I feel like I just sped through that, but that's because I have six lipsticks to talk about. <coughs> I don't know how it happened, but I somehow have six lipsticks in front of me that I just need to talk about. The first one I'm going to talk about are the Anastasia liquid lipsticks. This is a very Anastasia heavy video. Um, this is in the color Sepia. It's the only one I own, but like, can we talk about this color? First of all, the most beautiful brown toned gray, gray toned brown. I don't fucking know. It's a purple, purple, whatever it is. It's beautiful. I absolutely love this. It's a nice wearable one. Like there's some like the Smashbox Chill Zone that's definitely more gray and there are some that are more purple, but this is a nice in the middle, very wearable sepia color. And I love the formula. It's super comfortable on the lips. I also want to talk about these Sephora lip creams. I actually have this in a berry color, but it's in my bedroom. So I don't want to get it right now. This is in the shade 29. It's a beautiful forest green color. And this color, like, not even just this formula, but you fucking need this color. It's to die for. It's such a beautiful blue toned green that looks so stunning on the lips, but it's so dark that it definitely makes it look more wearable and less like you're wearing a green lipstick, but it's stunning. These are super inexpensive and I definitely think you should get them. They have tons of colors. So whatever you're in the market for, they have it and it's magical. Then I want to talk about the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. I have so many of these and I love them. Like I have a mini, them in the minis, I have them in the large ones and these aren't even all of the ones I have. I still have a bunch more up there. I absolutely love this formula. I love her color selection. I love all these like dirty brown colors. This is called Sanctuary, which is a beautiful color. Also the color Vampira is a beautiful dark blood red. The color Echo is the most perfect blue color. It can be a little patchy, but whatever. And my holy grail favorite black is Cap on E Witches. It's only has this in the mini, but I'm definitely gonna be buying in the full size once I run out of this. And then I have more over here. It's just a beautiful formula. It lasts a really long time. It's a pain in the ass to get off, but that's kind of great. And I just love her colors, her selection. I love her. I just feel like Cap on E like gets me on a spiritual level, you know? And speaking of Kat Von D, I also have her Everlasting Glimmer Veils. I cannot tell you how much I love these. I have three of them and they just came out like I think before Christmas. I have Wizard, Dazzle, and Reverb. Reverb is this beautiful blue color. I'm gonna swatch them all. So these are like a glitter top coat almost, but you can definitely layer them up to make them an opaque lipstick. This is what they look like here. This is Reverb, this is Dazzle, and this is Wizard. And as you can see, they all have this beautiful glitter in them. I wore Reverb around the Christmas time, and I just put two layers on, and you did not need a color underneath it. Um, Wizard is a little bit more, a little bit trickier to work with, and I would definitely say that you should put a black lips liquid lipstick underneath this, just because it does have more of like a gray base to it. But it has this beautiful multi-tonal glitter in it. I like cannot tell you how much I love these. I want them in every single color. I want her to come out with 700 more colors. Again, half on and me, spiritual level. And the only like actual lipstick formula I have to talk about are the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle lipsticks. These are 
worth all the hype. I have the shades You Dig, which is the most beautiful, like, I would almost call it a periwinkle blue because it definitely has those purple undertones to it. It's so beautiful, like just such a beautiful pastel color, perfect for spring and summer. And I also have a 100 point perk in the shade Griselda, which is like right up my fucking alley. It is this beautiful berry wine kind of color, like totally a Kayla color. These are super comfortable. The size of the lipstick actually makes them really easy to apply to your lips and they're just fucking magical. And like, put up with this packaging. I feel like I'm out of breath. I need a fucking water and a nap. But those are all of my favorite products. Definitely what I think you should buy from the Sephora VIB sale. The only other thing I think I'm gonna look at buying is they have a double pack of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray two of the full size for $48 and like that's a fucking steal as it is but with 50% off you can't beat that. That's in my list for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your must have items are during the VIB sale so that I can creep them and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.